Good everyone. My name is Graphics. In today's video, we'll be looking at projection of solid. We'll be treating a problem involving cone. We'll be looking at the generator of the cone on horizontal plane. And the question goes like this. It says, a cone of base 50 millimeter diameter and axis 60 millimeter long has one of its generator on HP, which we call the horizontal plane. If the axis is parallel to the VP, which is known as the vertical plane, draw its projection. Now, first of all, let me explain some terminologies for you. If you look at the screen, at the right hand side of the screen, you will see a diagram there, or we'll call it a figure, and that is displaying a cone, right? We know that a cone is a solid generated by the revolution of two right angle triangle about one of its sides. That which remains fixed and contain the right angle. So if you look at this cone very well, the sides of the cone are called what? The generator. Are you with me now? And the tip of the cone is called the apex. Why the right angle in the in the in the center there's the, the altitude from this point P to O is called what? The axis. The sides of the circle at the base of the cone is called the edge of the base. Why the circle on itself is called what the base. So knowing this fully well, let us first of all interpret this question. Right? So we first of all draw our plane. You know we have horizontal and what and vertical plane. So I'll first draw my horizontal and vertical plane. So this is what we have here. This is my horizontal plane right and this is my vertical plane you can see that let me make it bigger so this is what we have here this is the horizontal plane hp and this is the vertical plane vp right now i'll leave space because I don't want anything to touch my horizontal or my vertical plane, or I can just work on them that way, right? So, on the horizontal plane, we are told that the cone has a base diameter of what? 50 millimeter. So, let's first of all draw the base of the cone, 50 millimeter. But before we do that, I don't want anything that will touch, or better still, I don't want anything that will touch my main figure here. So I will just give a distance from it that to make my work neater. So let me see 10 millimeter away from the main figure, right? 10 millimeter away from the main figure. So I have this, it should be 10. This should be 10. This should be 10. You can use more than that if you want to, right? So this will be my reference line here so I can only draw this I can also draw this right now I can also do this too let me take a longer one Now, so we'll start. So we are told that the base of the cone is 50 millimeters. So let's start with the base. So we're starting from here, right? I'll just take my meter rule. I'll just insert, take the center of this point here, this way, right? Or better still, I'll measure 25 because half of 50 is 25. And diameter is what 50, so I'll take 25 here. This one's five, right? So when I place it here, look at what I'm doing. I'll place it here. 
I'll mark here and I'll mark here. You can actually do it any way you want to. They're meeting here and they're also meeting here. This is what I'm trying to do now. This is the center here, right? Where they meet. And I'll now take my compass. This other center, meaning that I'm going to draw my circle here. This will be representing the base of the cone. Right? Now, in doing that, I'm going to project it upward. This is already up, and I'll do this too, this way. I'll project it up. To touch here. And I'll project this up also to touch here, which we have there, right? So this is our diameter of the cone looking from the top. Now we're not told that, meaning that from here to here, let me call it to be A, right? And I'll call it to be what? B. So I'll thicken it. That will be the base of the cone. So this is the base of the cone. Now, if I should project this center point upward this way, right? That is where I will take this. We are given that the axis with the diagram you can see on the right hand side of the screen, the axis is OP, which we call the altitude. So that the only way you have the axis is called what? The altitude. And it's given to be what? 60 millimeter long. So I'm going to measure 60 millimeter long from this point. Zero to what? 60. You can see that? And I'm going to join it from this point. So I'm going to join it from this point to this point. You can see that? And from this point to this point. Right? So this is from here to here is what is the axis. So let me call here to be P, point P, and here to be what? My point O, right? Now we have A, B, P, and O. I want you to understand from what we can, from what we are told, right? This is just giving you how the cone will look like. But the question is not telling us that this particular cone we want to draw, which is this, it is not standing this way, right? It has a generator on the HP. What is the generator for my diagram? You can see the right hand side. It is either AO or OB. These sides are called what generator. They said it is not standing, it is not standing on the HP, on the um, VP, it is standing on what? It's on the OP. I will know this is the OP, the horizontal plane here. So we need to put OB on the word horizontal plane, right? So what we are going to do here is, now this is how the question is coming out. We want to redraw this. This is not exactly this question. I just drew this one out to make you understand what it means. This is this cone standing. But the question now says that what? This cone here, OB, is what? It has a generator. The generator here is OB. It is lying on what? On the HP plane. What you do now, if you want to draw this, but you want O, B, or O, A to lie on the horizontal, the HP plane here. I will together now. So what you do is as simple as this. Just take your measurement from B to what? To A. You can see that? And this is your point here, you're choosing here. The point here will be point B. Right? So with the radius of B to A, you come to this point, you strike an arc, right? And the next point from B to A, the next one will be what? From B to O. From B to O, you come to the same B, you come here to, you strike another arc, or better still, come to B, you strike another arc this way, right? So you come back here again, you cut this. You can see that? 
I will not take my rule. I will not connect B to this point here. Then the next one I did here is it the point I used from here to here. Yes. So I'll not join this point to this point. You can see that? Then I'll not connect these two together. Can you see that? So this is B, this is point A, and this is what? Point O. Is that okay now? Then the axis, you can see OP. P is lying somewhere around here. It's perpendicular. So I would like to draw a perpendicular line. I will make it to be 90 degree from this point. If you look at, I use this line 1. So I'll make it to touch here, or better still, I just take half of it from A to P. I'll come to B, I'll mark that is the center there. So I'll just join O to this point. This point you're seeing here this is my point, what my point P, right? So remember, this should be a faint line. It's not a thick line so this is what the question tells us now this cone i have tilted such that the axis the generator b o is b o is lying on the word the horizontal ground here the hp plane is that okay now so and what ha what is not happening so the next thing is we'll start projecting our point first of all we're going to divide this into 12. So how can you divide the circle into 12? You take your compass, you place it this way. Can you see that? And you come here, you strike an arc up. You come here also, you strike another arc up. You place it here, you strike an arc here. You place it here, you strike another arc here. So you take your compass and your set square and ensure that those points are passing through the center of the circle here. You can see that so if this is b here also is what is b if this is a here also is what is a then we're having the center point here we'll call it what point o is that okay now so i can call it to be c and d if i want to right so what i'll do is i'll also divide here into 12. is that okay i'll divide here into six how will i divide it I'll just take my compass, right? I'll just take, just look at what I want to do here. Two easiest way you can actually achieve this height is you can project this point to the sides, to the base of the cone, this way. Project these two to the base of the cone. Project these two to the base of the cone. Project these two to the base of the cone. You can see that so i can call here to be i can call this base here to be three the center point should be three here to be two one and zero two one and zero right so point p is three you can see that so if i take my compass from three to two right in both sides three to two three to two so if i place it here this is 2, and this is what? 2. So this is my point 2, and this is my point 2. Similarly, from 3 again, I'll get point 1. So if I place it at 3, this point, I'll get 1 to this side, then 1 to this side. This is my point 1, and this is my point 1. They will have 0, 0. Is that the key? So what I'll do is, I'm going to project this point down. So from point O, I'll bring it down this way. Then each of these points will be coming down. So let me take a bigger instrument here. 
So this point here, I'll just bring this. Come here this way. So each of those points will be coming down. See what I want to do. That's your faint line. Look how I want to do. So the first one is um you know if this is zero here, this point will be what zero, right? Here will be zero, here will be one, two, and three. Here will be one, two, and three. Is that okay now? So if you start from three here at the center, you start from zero at the center here. So let's see. So if I bring three down, this is the three line and bring it down. The line of three is coming down. So what do you notice? Where three meet three is a point. And where three meet three is another point. So this three, right? So what I'm trying to make you understand is this point here is point three. What we did here, point two, point one, point what? Zero, two, one, zero, one, two, this is three. 2, 1, 0. So, where 3, right, meet 3 is one point. Where the other 3 meet 3 is another point. So, go again for point 2. For point 2, bring it down. What do you notice? Where 2 meet 2 is here. And where 2 also meet 2 is here right i'll come again for the other two also here two also is meeting two here two is also meeting two here you can see tracing them now the next one is one so let me put the line of one this is the line of one here and another line of one here so let's see where one meets one is here and one meets one again here here also one meets one here and one meets one here right and the last one of the list zero this is the line of zero zero meets zero here this is the line of zero and this is another line of what zero so zero meets zero here so what do you see is that sheet that we see so i'm going to use my french curve and connect those points together right so I'll connect those points together from this here. Connect it to the center point here where they meet. To you, the generator. Then here to this point. Right? So what is again do we have? What we have here, so taking we have done what we are told to do. The question is just telling us to what to draw the projection, and this is the projection of what we have here. So, if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.